Jay, we've been talking about, um, or we've said, you've said that we should teach people how to treat us. And one of the ways that you said we should do that is by setting a precedent. So how do we set precedents uh, in our lives? Well, um, I mean, that's, that's very, very important. You know, a lot of times uh, your precedent that you set dictates how somebody's going to treat you. You know, a lot of times, you know, um, unless it's the first time they meet you or what have you, then they'll probably give you a little bit more grace to allow you to, again, that's where that, it starts then when you start to set a precedent. How were they acting when I met them? How were they, you know, conducting themselves? How was everybody else treating them, you know, um, when I met them? And then that'll call, that'll, you know, give people a, a, a measuring stick of how they're supposed to treat you and things of that nature. And then making a personal relationship with them. Um, it doesn't have to be personal, personal, but, you know, again, whatever the personal interaction is. Maybe it's a room full of people, but you guys had 10 minutes to talk by yourselves. That's going to, you know, weigh heavy. If you sound like a blabbering idiot, <laughs> you know, um, that's the impression you left on them. But if you were just wise and made them laugh and, you know, made their time a whole lot better, that's the impression. That's the impression that you gave them. And so they're going to look for that whenever they see you. They're going to remember that. You know, they always say that people who don't, might not remember what they say to you but, or what you say to them, but they remember how you make them feel. You know, so that's setting a precedent. So whatever you give them, that's what they got to go off of, and then they'll treat you accordingly outside of that. So a lot of times when we meet people, um, especially in the terms of relationship, you know, everybody's putting their best foot forward, their best personality, how they present themselves, et cetera. So in, in terms of setting precedent, you know, is that really a true example of, how, you know, when we first meet people? I love that. That's a, that's a great question. See, um, you know, that, that comes back to bite people all the time, you know. So it just all depends, you know, if... if if you might not never see this person no more, then it probably it doesn't matter. But if you're really if you're in business and you're trying to build relationships business wise, you know, um, you don't want to be that person or that business that's out there putting on the front. And then you can't do the work. You know, you can't produce the work when people call you or you acting good at the, you know, the, um, the, the, the conference. <laughs> but then when you get one on one, something different. And so, um, again, all of this, people are taking their notes on you. People are always paying attention to you, the, uh, you know, how you act, how you conduct yourself, you know, until everybody say, hey, <laughs> you know, you can let your head down. You know, whatever you give somebody, that needs to be shown all the time. Now, if you're asking me, I think be as authentic as you possibly can. At the same time, I get it. You know, maybe you, I'm not saying if you wear shorts every day, to go to the bank, you know, without your suit on to get some money. But at the same time, don't be so far from who you are that you're pointing them in a direction, you know, that to, to a whole other individual. And it's not who you are. As a photographer, I used to tell people all the time, I'm not going to do so much editing on you because I don't want them to not know who you are just because your headshot look great. And then when you come in for an interview, it's like, that's not the person you, <laughs> that you sent me in that headshot. You actually have to show up with a level of authenticity so that you can actually create the right precedent. You know, now you don't know what that is. You know, if you're a pretty girl, you know, you want to be your prettiest, you know, that day because pretty girls sometimes get a little bit more, you know, um, you know, leeway than somebody else would. Same thing with your gentlemen, you know, get your hair cut, things of that nature, because you might get a little bit better treatment if your hair's cut nicely or if you, even if you got long hair, but get it done. So, it's a different situation at the end of the day and how you want to be treated, how you want, you know, people to, that long lasting thought of you is on, it's totally up to you. And that's what's most important. It's on you to set the precedent. It's on you to set the, the, the table and the stage of how people conduct business with you, how people treat you, how people treat your family. Because if you are out there knowing and you set a standard and, and a precedent that I treat everybody's family this way, how you think they're going, it's okay to, you know, to, to assume that they're going to treat your family with the utmost respect. And so this is what this is about. But a lot of times we haven't done the work. We haven't put out, put our best foot forward to actually set that precedent. Maybe we didn't know. So now here's the public service announcement, <laughs> you know, set the precedent. So for your life, for your interactions, so that you can get what you want. Don't sit there and just think it's just going to happen and, you know, don't get upset when you haven't set a precedent and people don't treat you the way you want to be treated. Go ahead out there and um, do what you need to do because it's totally up to you. 
We're not gonna hold, we're not gonna uh, let you off the hook on this one. <laughs> we're gonna make sure you take responsibility for setting the precedent in your life.